Well, today I want to show you how to take your wide leg pants and turn them into skinny jeans or narrow leg pants. So, as you can see, I have some pants that I have probably not worn in years. And I'll just show you on the camera how the legs look. So, as you can see, they're all pretty wide leg pants. So I have five pair here. They all fit, I all tried them all on, and they don't work for me anymore because I don't work in an environment, well, I'm retired, actually I don't work at all, so I don't work in an environment where I'm gonna be wearing boots, and these are mostly pants that you will wear over your boots. These are the type of pants that I wear now. They're pretty much, um, narrow they go right in my boots i always wear my boots all the knee boots that cover the bottom portion of the pants and they're flat so you know i have a lot of colors and i'll take you through my boots in another video but what you do is you find your favorite pair of skinny jeans or pants and that is your model or your mold that you're going to actually use to make these into the same size so you can kind of judge at pretty much how much fabric that i'm going to take off the bottom of these pants if i want them to look like this okay so let's get started okay so to begin with you're going to take the pair of pants that you want to work with first and you're going to lay them out on a cutting board you're going to take the pair of pants that you want to cut to size and lay them right on top matching the crouch. So this doesn't have to be really neatly done. So you can kind of see the markings are right in there. So we're only going to work with pretty much tapering the knee out. Also, um, all I'm using is a crayon or you can use pens to mark it if you don't have crayons. So pretty much the knee down is the bulk of the part we're going to be cutting off. But since we can't go in like that and make a Y stitch, we have to start up here at the seam and taper it out so it'll have a nice curve to it. So this is pretty much mid thigh and I'm, I'm really tapering like a half an inch. So this is where we're gonna start and then when we get here our, we're gonna cut off more fabric to match the pants leg. So pretty much you're going to take this leg and try to place it right in the middle. I'm going to start from the bottom down, bottom, and then I'm just going to start marking it. So pretty much, actually, since it's tapered in a little more, I'm going to mark it. I'm going to ignore that one. And I'm going to start there. And then you just mark around it. And then at some point, just take it off. And it should pretty much flow into where you want to um, join it at the knee. So this one flew pretty nice, flow pretty, it pr pretty nicely. This one, I'm gonna have to make the seam just a tad bit straighter. 
so it'll flow. So you can add as many markings as you need. It's just crayon, so it will wash off. So there you have it. So the next step is taking your pants to the serger. Now, since I know that I'm only going to be wearing these tucked in, I'm not going to take this hem out and sew it all the way to the hem and then fold the hem back up. So this is too much work because nobody's going to ever see the bottom of my pants because they're going to be tucked in my boots. Okay, so let's go to the serger and I'll show you how to remove all that SS fabric using your serger. Okay, so this is the serger. It's by Singer. I've had it for about 30 years. I kid you not. For those of you that aren't familiar with a serger, a serger actually cuts and overlocks the fabric at the same time. So if you notice how old it is. <laughs> it's broken. Anyway, this is a cutter right here. I can't even move it. <laughs> it okay, here it is. This is a knife. It's really sharp. It cuts the fabric and overlocks it at the same time. So as you there is room for four spools of this uh, thread, but I only use three and you can also use two needles also, but I only use one overlock needle. So you can overlock with two needles and four spools of thread. That's basically for thicker fabric like wools and denims. But for normal fabric, one needle and three spools of thread is enough. Okay, so I am going to get in position and uh, we're gonna cut off this excess fabric. Okay, sewing with the serger is so much fun. So pretty much lift your pressure foot up. Also, well, let me show you this. Pretty much all you have to do is press it down and it will sew without any fabric. It will overlock without any fabric being there. So that's just to give it a test run. Okay, so on to the markings. So we have our markings. I'm going to follow that pat that yellow marking and we'll be done with this one. Later. Now as you get close to the end, you kind of want to make sure that you have it even at the bottom. So I'm just going to hold it. And then you want to run it out enough to give about five inches of thread to start your new sewing. And so this is pretty much what it looks like. So I keep a little trash can right here and this is my excess fabric. And we're going to do this for all four legs. I'm going to do it for all four legs and then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so this is the outcome. This is how narrow it is. And Actually, this pant is the same as these, just a different color. So we went from that to that. And they're stretched, so you know that they're going to fit over your feet. 
So after you finished, um, what you're going to do is take your iron and you're going to flatten out that seam. So that's why we have a little iron board here. actually have a, like a seam down the middle. You know, um, if you don't get a smooth finish at the top, it, it's a smooth finish, but it looks like there's a little pinch in there, and that's where the iron comes in. Pretty much just flatten that out. And you do the same thing to the other side. You flatten out that seam. your seam flattened out they're all ready to wear now let me just show you the inside what overlocking looks like this is what overlocking looks like it cuts the fabric and it overlocks it so it won't ravel and this is um <clears throat> what I was talking about if you want to take the hem out then you overlock it all the way down and then you fold the hem up then you would have a smooth finish across the bottom. Now these were so long that I can still take my scissors and cut this off and just hem it on the sewing machine. Do a machine sew. And that's what I'll probably do if it's going to be too crunchily at the bottom. I might do that. But this is what they look like. So now you know, you know how to turn your wide leg pants into straight leg pants. I'm taking orders. I will charge you hmm, maybe $8 a pair, eight to $10 a pair. How's that? Send me all your pants. Okay, well that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.